What's up everybody, it's your boy Joe, your English teacher. I know some of you guys were complaining about the quality of my upload since in my last video the sound was only coming from one side in your earphones and there was some sort of background noise. Well, I'll fix this issue for this new video. By the way, what's the point of doing something if it's not to improve? Speaking of which, that's why this video is brought to you, that's why I want you guys to subscribe to this channel because when you do so, not only will your English level most certainly skyrocket, but you'll also become more fluent and you'll understand English better. So if that sounds interesting, let's hop into it. In this lesson, we'll be talking about regular and irregular verbs, subject pronouns and the simple present. First and foremost, the adjective regular actually means formed, built, orange, or ordered according to some established rule, law, principle, or type. Regular verbs. Regular verbs are actually verbs that follow standard patterns and in their inflictions. Um, in other words, it simply means that the past tenses of those verbs, such as simple past um, and past participle, are formed by adding ed at the end. Picture this. Walk becomes walked with a T sound. Accept becomes accepted. Ask becomes asked with a T sound. Kiss becomes kissed. Love becomes loved. Like liked. Stop stopped with a T sound. Agree becomes agreed with a D sound. Now, this can be a little tricky, fellas, knowing when it's a regular or irregular verb. But luckily, I got your backs. I'll give you a list of regular and irregular verbs, which you'll have to memorize. I'll put the link right in the description below so y'all can study them. Irregular verbs. On the other hand, irregular verbs are quite the opposite, which means those verbs follow a different pattern. That is, the same thing that we just did with regular verbs cannot be done with them. To know when it's an irregular verb, you'll have to study a list of irregular verbs. And again, I'll put it in the description below for you. Um, unlike regular verbs, for irregular verbs, you won't be able to add ed for the past tenses. For instance, the verb be falls into the category of irregular verbs, which means that its simple past is was and its past participle is been subject pronouns a subject pronoun is a personal pronoun that is usually used as the subject of a verb a subject in a sentence is the person or thing about whom the statement is made for instance joe has a black car in this sentence, the subject is Joe. The statement is made about him. The subject pronouns are actually the following. I, you, he for men, she for women, it for an animal or thing, we, you, they. Now, let's try and use the subject pronouns in random sentences. I am a photographer. You are a very nice person. He has a new timepiece. She is a nurse. It is a good puppy. We speak Spanish. You are always on time. They don't like doing the laundry. Let's talk about the simple present. Um, the simple present is used to talk about things that happen regularly, things that are true in general, and things that are true in the present. For example, the earth goes around the sun. We also use the simple present to talk about habits, that is, things that you normally do on a daily basis. For example, I brush my teeth every day. How is the simple present formed? In fact, to form the simple present, all you have to do is use a subject pronoun plus a verb. The verb be. The verb be is used as an auxiliary verb, but it can also be used as a main verb. It's uh, an irregular verb. It indeed has eight different forms. B, M, is, are, was, were, been, 
being. To be simple present. I am, you are, it is, she is, it is, we are, you are, they are. Well, that's it for me today, fellas. I hope you all understood everything that was said in this video. Learning any foreign language can be quite challenging. I won't lie to you guys, it won't be easy. But when it's all said and done, you'll be glad you started on this journey. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. And if you found this video useful and informative, don't forget to drop us a like and make sure you subscribe to this channel and share our videos. And make sure you follow my Instagram at double underscore jetloman 2.0. I'll see you all for the next lesson. Peace and blessings.